Good morning guys, here on another beautiful day in Panama City, uh, second to last day. So today we're going to go out to the jungle and go to a, uh, a area that is uh, not very known. It's got native people still in Panama, so let me give you the information here in a minute. It's on a beautiful morning here in Panama City. We are going to, what we're going to do today on this Saturday is actually visit the Embera Truva village, the indigenous people of Panama City. It's going to be fun because it's in the middle of a forest which is called Parque Nacional Chagres and it's literally outside of Panama City. It's right over there on the hardened section right there. Anyways, um, about maybe an hour or two of driving and then we're going to go and uh, go through canoes, hiking, waterfalls, anything you can imagine. So I can't wait to bring you guys along. So let's go. Right now we are in San Miguelito. San Miguelito. Okay, so we're here at the Chagres National Park the Chagres River in the back, if you can see it. And we're gonna actually take a canoe ride and uh, start making our way to the uh, indigenous people. Let me tell you the name. Okay, Chagres National Park is down there. Well, we're in it actually. Chagres River is down there. And we're gonna go see the Embera people today. There's some indigenous people that in Panama that really do live as if it were hundreds of years ago. So it'll be interesting to see. Here we are, we're gonna get a canoe. Look at this long, skinny canoe. What an experience guys. This is this is beautiful. We're just walking through creeks, little hills, mountains, everything. Haven't seen any wildlife yet, so we're keeping an eye out. Changing in the jungle. Just had a refreshing swim at the waterfalls. Don't know what the name is. It probably doesn't even have a name, but I'm still soaking wet. So we're just gonna dry while we're hiking. Cleaning our shoes, as we were told to. Sikono, 96 people live in this village. So. Welcome to, to Sikono. Merache means welcome friend. The food, la comida. Let's see what it is. I can't wait. We're in like a sort of palapa. It's just made out of straw, so this is very nice. Traditional Panamanian village. Look at the view of the river down there. Oh yeah. Tostones, pescado, and some sort of orange, topped with the flour. 
in a leaf. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to... Okay guys, we just had lunch and we had an explanation of the architect... The architecture, sorry, and uh, how they live and their laws and things like that. Just to point out, this is like a typical house that the Embera people have. And it's always on stilts because they, they know that when it rains, during the rainy season, it rains a lot. The water needs to pass under the, the houses so that they don't get washed away. So I like it here. It's pretty cool. It's very, very, very hot. So we're going to explore the little town. 96 people here and 25 families. And there was a baby just born the other day. So something interesting as well. More houses here. Family's probably taking a rest. Where the men are usually out hunting or uh, gathering. And then the women are usually cooking or cleaning. So there was a bunch of, we were at the kitchen and there was a bunch of women cleaning and cooking. And For 96 people, I think they cook for everyone. So it's a whole effort on everybody's part. Um, seven tribes are scattered throughout Panama. This is just one of them. This is the Embera, Embera village. The Embera people. Um, I can't remember what they call their dialect. Choco. And I can't remember how they say thank you. Bia bois. But I'll put it in the description or in the video right now. So, very interesting. They really try hard to keep their traditions alive because it's been difficult, as they say, as, uh, you know, new advances come in through the village. You know, people want to have phones and have better clothes and better housing. But here's the typical stairs that they use just to get up into the house. Just made out of one piece of wood. His name is Luca. Luca, Luca. Look at our driver, he likes to feed the dogs. on the experience that we just had for $95 a person well worth it because it was about seven to eight hours long it's the, the ride to the Chagres River and to uh, to Sipono which is the small village totally worth it like a five out of five there was no complaints it's just hot but what do you expect out of Panama so uh, definitely would do it uh, but I put a link to the Airbnb uh, website on the it's an Airbnb experience so in the food was great too we had fish with patacones and uh, orange, and then we had fruits after that. I loved it all, so I'll talk more about it later. So let's go have sushi for now. So. All right, so after a nice, lovely day out in the village, we're here at Hikaru, Japanese. It's a sushi spot. They got, but they got ramen. They have everything you could think of Japanese. We ordered a cold bottle of sake. Look at this. So this one's like $45, so we'll give it a try, see if it's good. Saki G, that's literally the name, G, that's it. 
Cheers. Panama has been great. They know how to do other food. They, they do know, they, the food is just 10 out of 10. All right, we're gonna start with the tokiyaki. Thank you for the chicken something done. Okay guys, we got the ninja maki. It's a sushi roll. Looks like it has avocado, maybe salmon, maybe some shrimp. We'll see how it is. I like the crunchy stuff on top, that's my favorite. And then we got the chicken, uh, something done. I don't know, it has rice, chicken, and some tartar sauce, Japanese sauce on it. And then we obviously we're almost done with the uh, takoyaki, so we're enjoying this so far. We have our bottle too, which I think we're about halfway. So let's dig in. And to top it off, we have matcha mochi. So love the presentation. We are gonna give this spot a 5 out of 5. If I could give it like a 10 out of 5, I would. Because Hikaru is a Japanese spot to have the sushi, the sake, the takoyaki, everything. The sochi. I mean, even, I mean, I mean the mochi, sorry. Best Japanese spot. I mean, I know we haven't tried any, but I mean, this is more than recommendable. So, let's go to the hotel. I mean, we're tired, so. Long day. Beautiful day in here in Panama City, so let's go. Good morning guys, on our last day in Panama, we we're gonna have breakfast at our hotel, which was complimentary, uh, not bad at all, and uh, we're pretty sad to say that we don't want to leave, but uh, back to the real world, right? Not gonna film too much today, just I guess our journey, journey back home, so hope you guys enjoyed the series. One last time looking at this beautiful view of Panama City, so. It's been a great experience here, and we would definitely come back. Panama, 9 out of 10. I guess 5 out of 5, however you want to say it. I'm just saying that it's worth it. We're sad to say that. <laughs> well guys, here we are. Sad to say that we are leaving Panama City. It's been a week. Too short, but uh, we got to know Panama City and the surrounding areas very, very well. But uh, when I come back, that's a yes for me, 10 times over. So, let's go to the airport. I would totally recommend Panama to anybody that loves food and loves a little culture and then the big city life. So, it's very fun, bunch of rooftops, bunch of things to do, honestly. Uh, weather is the one that's kind of like, it's very humid and hot, but it is what it is. So, anyways, gonna get our passports out and go through security. So, let's go. Coco Club Lounge in Panama City. So we're here. This is a huge one and I have yet to see the food and the bar down there. So let's go explore. We're gonna spend a few hours here. So we'll get cozy. We got our glasses of wine and look how lucky we are to be watching the Dallas Mavericks. game just started and they're playing the Suns too. I even have my math shirt. Oh. I did that. I did not do this intentionally because I just put this on. I didn't even know the Mavericks were playing today to be honest and I didn't even know that I was going to watch them. So. Leaving Panama. I don't like it. 